Mario Kart 8 Deluxe takes the exact content from Mario Kart 8 on Nintendo Wii U and introduces ultimate mobility via the Nintendo Switch's Play Anywhere, Play Anytime concept. More recently, Nintendo has announced even more tracks to be added in the form of the Booster Course Pass. So let's take a look at all the different tracks in part 9 of our Mario Kart retrospective. We've partnered up with Happy Kids for this series, so download the app and watch for free. Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with even more Mario Kart Retrospective. Welcome to episode 9, where we're going to showcase all of the brand new courses introduced in the Nintendo Switch versions of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Odds are, if you have a Nintendo Switch, you probably have this game. Man, this game is so smooth online, and the fact that Nintendo is bringing on board even more tracks just made from the entire history of everything Mario Kart is so great about this game. Anyway, so if you've been watching this entire retrospective series, you know just how many levels and tracks there are in the game. So odds are you're going to see a lot of those older levels get remade into these booster course passes. And if you guys play the mobile version of Mario Kart, which is Mario Kart Tour, you'll absolutely recognize some of them too. Anyway, so this one's going to be part nine of our 10 part series. Our next episode is going to be us taking a look at the top levels, the top courses throughout all of these nine games that we're playing through over here. It's going to be a great collaboration, an entire like summary of everything thus far, so you don't want to miss it. What will I rank as number one? Oh man, you'll have to check it out to find out. But anyway, what we're going to be doing today on this episode is going through the booster course pass and doing one lap in each of them. There are going to be some pretty unique city tracks, and I do want to show you guys all the different sections, so we'll make those extended just to show you exactly what they have to offer. Now keep in mind that at the time of recording right now, there is still four outlying tracks that we don't have an access to. That's just simply because Nintendo hasn't released them yet. So maybe later on we'll update and make another video showcasing all of them. But anyway, thanks so much for watching and of course stay tuned for one lap in each of the Booster Chorus Pass tracks. Enjoy! And here we are with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, the latest game in the entire franchise. Of course, we're not talking about the mobile game Mario Kart Tour because that one would be technically newer, but we're talking about one of the most popular fastest selling games in the entire history of Mario Kart. So let's jump onto our Nintendo Switch and show you what's going on within the game. Of course, now if you've already seen the previous episode where we talk about Mario Kart 8, ideally they're the exact same game. It has a lot of the same characters. It is literally copy pasted over. They made some different tweaks into Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, including the ability to hold on to two items and some minor character adjustments. But as you can see over here, we're gonna be focusing on the new content, content that's available exclusively on the Nintendo Switch version, which is going to be the Booster Course Pass. Anyway, as you can see at the time of recording over here with the Booster Course Pass, we have some very questionable characters that we don't know what's gonna happen. These will be released later on in the upcoming uh, months. If not year, nobody knows, but I'm excited for it. The one new character that we are going to get right now with exclusively on Nintendo Switch is going to be Birdo. And as you can see over here, Birdo has all sorts of colors, just like Yoshi and or Shy Guy. But of course, we're gonna choose Mario with the standard cart. Anyway, uh, coming on over this way, we're gonna do that, easy peasy. And uh, if you've seen the previous episode for Mario Kart 8, we've already seen every single track in the base game. Now, if you press the R button, we're gonna have a whole bunch more new tracks over here. So, for this part of the retrospective, we're gonna go through all eight of the ones that are currently released right now, uh, including the Golden Dash Cup, the Lucky Cat Cup, Turnip Cup, Propeller Cup, Rock Cup, Moon Cup, and then, of course, Fruit Cup and Boomerang Cup. Again, like I said earlier, at the time of recording, there are two more drops of the Booster Course Pass, including the Feather Cup, Cherry Cup, and then another drop that's going to happen a little bit later that's going to give us the Acorn Cup and the Spiny Cup. So, unfortunately, I can't show you those right now, but we'll have to maybe do a follow-up in the near future. Or you guys can check out my content when we go live with that stuff. But anyway, let's jump into the Golden Dash Cup and show you what's going on. 
And here we are at Paris Promenade. This level is so fun. What we're going to do with all the city levels from Mario Kart Tour is I'm going to do the entire level for you. Simply because there are so many different winding paths that you can take in there. And that was the gimmick with Mario Kart Tour and all the different cities. This is based off of France and you can see the Eiffel Tower over here. How fun is that? Now with the Eiffel Tower, not only is there that, but you can see this little monument over here. And the level is just so beautiful. It's one of my favorites as far as the city levels go. And you're gonna see a lot of different city levels in this entire booster course pack because it takes from Mario Kart Tour. I wish I had time to go through all the levels in Mario Kart Tour, but unfortunately that's just not too feasible. Anyway, we're going to go through the second lap, which is going to be identical to the first lap over here, but I really want to show you what the third lap looks like. So anyway, driving on down this way, as you can see, what we want to do is we want to continue moving as best as we can. You can see that there's a rainbow, a little water fountain. Uh, there's a couple different paths that you can take through the Eiffel Tower, but this one's going to be your fastest path through this entire area. Watch out for that giant piranha plant because he will bite you and cause you to spin out yeah watch out for that anyway uh, coming on this way this one's going to be where the level actually changes up and I wanted to show it to you versus doing just one lap anyway we're gonna take a turn right down this way which will allow us to go onto a potential glider section over there but it's a little faster if you take the ground path all right right over this way we're gonna start going backwards through the track there was that piranha plant and here was the area where we usually just turn for the first and second laps all right, let's see exactly how the backwards actually works out over here. We're going to be launching straight through there. Easy. And then you recognize this area from the very first lap. So fun. And then, as you can see, I'll show you guys one of the only shortcuts. It's going to be straight through here. A boost through just like that and finish off the level. Easy peasy. Here we are at Toad Circuit. Yes, this level straight from Nintendo 3DS and it is phenomenal. The way that they really captured the essence of the 3DS version, man, it's the exact same thing. You cannot see any difference between it. It's so great. Anyway, right over this way is going to be a straightaway that you can easily do. You can say hi to Toad right over there, a gigantic Toad balloon. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna jump through here. There's gonna be some shortcuts that you can take to the right. There's a giant ramp over that way. And if you have a mushroom, you can take an easy cut straight through this grass and those pipes over that way in order to finish off the lap with style. Very true port. Here we go. Chaco Mountain from N64 makes its appearance. Now, this one was debuted in Mario Kart Tour for the first time. But thankfully, we actually received it over here in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Very excited for it. It is, uh, yeah, very true to the original. I mean, there's um, swooper that are coming over here. There's a little cave section. Uh, I would say it's a, it's, it's a little different. I mean, I don't remember these little areas, but the path that's actually really fun is going to be over here. It looks like there's going to be some boulders. And if we know anything about the boulders, you can easily get hit. Uh, now they've boarded off this section over here so you don't fall off the track, so I guess that's kind of nice of them to do so. Here's going to be the last little jumps of the area, and we are all set and ready to go with Chaco Mountain. Here we are. You guys got some money? Let's go shopping. We're going to Coconut Mall. Yes, they've remade Coconut Mall, and we are here for it. Anyway, it's going to be the exact same thing as it was in the Wii version. You can take a shortcut through that shop right over there. If you had a mushroom, of course, it is considered off-road. And as you can see, we're going to be easily making our way straight through this section, just like we did on the Nintendo Wii. Look at that. Doing some tricks off of the fountains. You can easily do that. Here's a food court. Taking the bottom path this time around in order to make it a lot easier and go a little bit quicker. All right. So the last section of track has the, uh, the little cars that will spin out at you. So just be very careful as you're driving through that area because those shy guy will hit you with the side of their car. Next up is the Lucky Cat Cup, home of an original level from Mario Kart Tour Ninja Hideaway and some retro ones that you may not have noticed. Let's take a look at it. And here we are at another city chorus from Mario Kart Tour. This one's called Tokyo Blur. Now, I want to show you guys all three laps of this one because it does absolutely change and I'm here for it. 
Anyway, as you can see over here, the entire level is based off of Tokyo in Japan. You'll see some different stadiums over there. You'll see a lot of different similarities uh, to what is exactly happening inside Japan. So I'm excited for it. Anyway, there's a shortcut ramp right over there on the right hand side that you can easily go through if you are so inclined. Here's a very iconic looking bridge. Man, there's Mount Fuji all the way in the distance over there. You've got some sort of tower looking thing. Forgive me for not knowing every single landmark, but if you are a Japan native, you will absolutely adore this track too. Uh, I love the Japanese lanterns as well, man. All right, taking a look, you can see that we're just kind of driving through different areas of the track for every single one of these laps. Now let's take a look at the last lap and you'll see just how different it is. Man, watch out for those thwomps too. Anyway, coming on over here, we're gonna go through and we're gonna take a right this time around. Yeah, don't get smushed. And we're gonna go straight over here. It says, welcome to Tokyo. We're gonna go on the highway right now. Pay the toll, ding ding. And now we're going straight through here. You get some coins if you're lucky enough to go underneath those, easy mode. And we're gonna go all the way through here. Nice and easy, nice and smooth too. Check that out. Anyway, last section is gonna be a glider section straight to the finish line. And you can see just how awesome it weaves it all through. Here we go, another level with traffic in it. It's DS Shroom Ridge. And this is a remake, of course, from the Nintendo DS version. It keeps a lot of the same turns. It keeps a lot of the exact same shortcuts, but it actually adds a brand new shortcut towards the very end, which I'll actually show you guys. Usually we just stay away from doing all the shortcuts. I kind of notice them and kind of tell you where they're at. But anyway, we'll do the, we'll do the new one. All right, to the left-hand side over there, there's going to be a shortcut that you can take through the grass and you'll get a little glider section or a little ramp. Right over here is gonna be a pretty fun part because what we have to do is we have to be careful as we align ourselves up right here. Yes, easy mode. That is the brand new shortcut in Shroom Ridge and you're just gonna to need to boost through it. We're here at Sky Garden, the remake of the one from Nintendo DS. Oh man. This one was so fun. Any of the Sky Garden levels, man, I just love the music. You can see that there's going to be some little flowers that you can bounce on top of or some leaves over that way. And uh, right over here is gonna be a little mushroom that we can bounce on. Yeah, great. Go for it if you want. Cut through that little sand area or you can cut through all of this cloud over on the right hand side. Just like the donut cut, uh, you can actually cut through that, that gigantic beanstalk over there on the left hand side, if you have a mushroom. And just like that, we are absolutely finished with Sky Garden. It's a very short course, but still great nonetheless. Here's an original track called Ninja Hideaway from Mario Kart Tour. This one is actually really cool. I love how Japanese influenced it is. Just like a lot of the uh, the Japanese levels in the game, you had the cherry blossoms right over there, the deer scare, a whole bunch of like katanas on the walls. Oh my gosh. Anyway, coming up the rafters this way is going to be your fastest bet, especially for lap one. If you stay on top, you're gonna get a boatload of coins right over that way. Watch out for those shy guy. Uh, what you could essentially do is trick off of the air gust that way and then kind of aim yourself down over here so you get even more tricks in. All right, coming out this way is going to be relatively easy. You want to be able to do a trick right over this way. And now we're on the rooftop of some Japanese homes. It looks so good. Anyway, the final area is right over this way. You can do tricks off of every single one of these little ramps. So keep going. Let's take a look at the Turnip Cup. Home to New York Minute, Mario Circuit 3, Calamari Desert, and fan favorite, Waluigi Pinball. Just like all of the other city levels from Mario Kart Tour, we got one that's based off of New York, the Big Apple. As you can see over here, there's some comedy clubs, there's some musicals. This is like Broadway area, like Times Square if you guys have ever been there. Anyway, uh, this one's going to be like some sort of Central Park area, kind of like inspired by, of course. There's gonna be some Goombas on the map, so just be careful about that as you're driving through here. There's a shortcut that you can take right over to the right-hand side to get into the city a little bit quicker. And we're gonna show you three laps in this because it's kind of dynamic and I really wanna show it off because it's just a great way of paying homage to New York City, those of you guys that are familiar with it. Look at the glitz and glam, look at that. Anyway, we're gonna be turning this way on the second lap over here, which is an area which we have not gone to, but another section of like the Central Park, but like we're going backwards in it over here. 
So fun. Yeah, do it, do it. Anyway, uh, moving on over this way, going through here. Watch out for those uh, little geysers from the sewers. You can take a glider path right over this way, jump on top of the bus and do a trick off of it. Oh, it's just so fun. Now, the taxis are stationary for some reason in this level. I don't know if that's a New York thing, but maybe that's just an, uh, an allusion to the traffic. <laughs> the traffic's just really bad and they're at the standstill. Anyway, instead of going through Central Park, we're going to go straight down this way and showcase a couple new areas, which are right over here inside the city. We're going to go inside, I believe this is the Empire State Building. We're going to go right inside it, and boom! Right over here through the parking garage. Yeah, going our way through. It's a little slippery, and we're going to come straight out back into the very end. Very awesome track. Here's a blast from the past. SNES Mario Circuit 3. Ooh, this one's so good, especially if you have mushrooms. Man, there's so many off-road shortcuts that you can take with this level. It makes for a crazy time online with friends. Anyway, watch out for the oil slicks over here. I mean, it's really not that big of an issue. But there's a couple of things that you can do in order to kind of cut off. You can kind of do a little hop that way in order to shave a little bit. And, uh, of course, there's going to be some easy shortcuts that you can take. See the, uh, the gap in the green blocks over there? You can take a mushroom shortcut over there. And then right on the right-hand side, you can even blast through there. A final zipper, and you are done with the level. And here we are at Calamari Desert. Yeah, remember the train in the N64 version where you had to, like, slow down to a stop and wait for it to pass? Yeah, that's this level, but now remade into Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Of course, there's a shortcut right over that way where you can kind of glide over the train in the event that you wanted to. And, of course, another section over that way, too. Ooh, this level is so fun. Anyway, this one is quite different because it does have some winding and split paths along the way. But, for the most part, it's going to be the exact same thing. Now, the final lap, and I believe the next lap after this, you're going to have to actually go through the train tracks, and it's going to force your way over there. So, that's actually really fun to see. It's kind of an allusion to that little secret thing where you can use a star to make the lap count. And here's a fan favorite level of Waluigi Pinball. I have no idea why people like this level. There's no cool shortcuts or anything. But, hey, you know what? <laughs> Everyone has their own, right? To each their own. So, yeah, you can see just how colorful this one is, for sure. It takes a lot of inspiration from the original one. Honestly, I don't think that there's anything different about it. There's no new paths. There's no innovation. Those pinballs are pretty big, and I don't know how I squeeze right past that. So, anyway, the level is like a one-to-one -one exact same thing. Do not get smushed by the uh, pinball. Luckily, we made the cycle. Anyway, right over here is going to be our way down, as you can see. I'm going to do a little bit of snaking. Not going to get hit by... Oh, of course! Not going to get hit by a pinball. <laughs> and proceeds to get hit by one. And probably twice. Ooh, almost. Alright, anyway. We're going to go through over here. We got hit by a pinball. Whatever. Your favorite track, Waluigi Pinball. Good job. And we're here at the Propeller Cup, home to another city course, and a lot of favorite tracks. So I cannot wait to show you this one. Let's jump in. Here's a little taste of Australia with none other than Sydney Sprint. We're going to do the entire course over here because the winding tracks are very, very awesome. So let's take a look at it. Anyway, if any of you guys are familiar with Australian culture, you'll be able to see a lot of monuments in the area too. Ferris wheel, the park, the little tower things, and of course that gigantic theater too. So yeah, it's so fun. All right, anyway, coming on down right over this way, we'll be able to see some different areas. I can grab uh, maybe some coins if I really wanted to. All right, and the music is actually really good too. All right, here we go. Easy mode, one, two, three coins, and we're gonna go ultra mini turbo into the second section now. Yes. We're going to go through a boat, from what it seems. Is that a boat? I think so. I think there's some water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we went through a boat. And then we're going to go through a park now. All right. Yeah, look at this, man. So fun. We're going to go through a little park. You get to see all the different uh, sailboats, which is really cool to see. Man, it's just like you're sightseeing. And that's what I really love about the Mario Kart Tour levels is they're just, it's sightseeing. I don't even know I'm racing. 
Anyway, there's a giant subway over there with some patrons throwing some coins on the map. Some really cool jumps over here. So you'll notice that we're going kind of backwards in the level. Uh, right over here in this section, you can use a mushroom towards the right in order to boost through. Yeah, there we go. And now we're here. Yes, we made it. Uh, I'm going to do a little mini turbo this way. So we land with one. And there's a little clutch shortcut that you can take right over that way on the left-hand side in order to make it. But, of course, there's a little bit left of this track. So let's keep on going and see where it takes us. So we've kind of already run this little area here, but uh, we're going to kind of go here one more time. As you can see, the gigantic ramps are available in case you wanted to go through there and do some tricks off them. We're going to go over here towards like the theme park area. Yeah, the huge Ferris wheel, the little merry-go-round. Oh, so fun. And then we're going to go straight through here again. Yes. Check out the cool lights. We see a whole bunch of like people cheering us on. We're ready to go. Yes, we're doing it. And that is going to be it. The clutch grass cut in case you wanted to take it right over that way. And you're all set with Sydney Sprint. Here we are at GBA Snowland. All right. So from Super Circuit, this level is actually really, really cool. I'll show you a very ultra shortcut that you can take. We'll show it once we're done with the lap if you guys uh, want to see it. I know you guys do. Anyway, you can see right over here that there's going to be a lot of snowmen, a lot of blocks like we've seen. And watch out for the baby penguins because if you do run into them, they will uh, spin you out. So be very careful. Anyway, do some tricks right over here. You can get a couple more coins. Of course, take this as tight as you can. Watch out for the little babies. They're just kind of doing their own thing. There's a spot in between the red and the blue blocks in order to boost. And of course, there's a little clutch cut right over that way. But anyway, that's the lap. And since I said earlier I wanted to show you the Ultra Shortcut, I'm going to show it to you right now since I have some mushrooms for it. Anyway, let's take a look right over this way. We're going to go wide. We're going to get ready to launch. Oh, yeah! <laughs> and that is the Ultra Shortcut that you can take in this level. So fun. Here's a popular level from Mario Kart Wii. It's Mushroom Gorge. And yes, the Mushroom Gorge shortcut is actually here too. They added in a new shortcut and I'll show that to you right over here. If you boost this way, you can bounce off of these in order to get a little bit more air towards that spot if you had a mushroom. So that was kind of cool to show off. That was not in the original game from what I remember. Anyway, the level is going to be relatively the same. You're going to pick and choose which side you want to go on, left or right hand side. I think the right hand side is a little bit faster because you have uh, you don't have to worry about the glider section or anything like that. But if you stick it all the way over towards the left over there, you can completely jump the mushroom gap. Oh my gosh, good luck with that. Here's a very sweet and original level. It's none other than Sky High Sunday. The physics in this level are a little questionable, but hey, still really fun. We're going to be flying through ice cream and donuts and cakes and everything like that. Um, you can see over here that the majority of the level is going to be an anti-gravity just because. I don't know why. But anyway, we're on top of like ice cream and it's so fun. Look at these different like rainbow sherbets. Oh man, flying through over here, getting some wafers that we're on top of over here a giant sundae look at this like wow this chocolate bar some licorice i don't even know that helicopter is made out of an ice cream cone <laughs> anyway as you can see over here we're gonna be looping straight around to the ice cubes yeah ice cubing nice and easy and just like that we're all set and ready to go get some ice cream Next up is going to be the Rock Cup, and as you can see over here, we've got a London level, and a Boo Lake, Alpine Pass, and Maple Treeway. Really popular level, so I can't wait to dive into these. Here's one of my favorite tracks in Mario Kart Tour, London Loop. Actually, it's really good. There's some chain chomps, and just like the other city tracks, I'm going to give you the entire map, not just the first lap, because we're going to be able to see a whole bunch of things. Now, I've been to London once before, and I went to London after I played this level, and as soon as I saw that gigantic Ferris wheel, I was like, oh my gosh, dude, I'm, I'm in Mario Kart. So, very appreciated. You can see over here a giant chain chomp. It will bite you if you're taking it too close to the right. And of course, you can jump off into the grass in that section right over that way. Uh, you'll see over here a little drawbridge. Easy mode right over here. I'm going to go wide for some coins. And uh, yeah, the London Eye. The Eye, that's what it's called. Anyway, <clears throat> coming on through right over this way. 
we'll be able to uh, finish off that part of the lap. Let's do the next one. This one's two out of three. We're going to go through a little courtyard area here with a chain chomp as well. So be careful. He might bite you. So yeah, jumping right over here. I don't know if that's Buckingham Palace or what, but this level looks so good. Watch out for the chain chomp. Oh my gosh. Anyway, do some tricks up the stairs right over here, and we're going to go right through, it seems like the theater district. I don't know. But London is actually really, really cool. I love I love it. I wish I could go back. All right, anyway. So taking a look, we've got another bridge. There is the gigantic Ferris wheel. Love that. And we're going to turn right over here to just about be ready with that next lap. All right, last lap is going to be pretty epic, so keep your eyes peeled. We're going to go through this courtyard one more time. Let's see what we got. I'll pick up that coin. And now the Chain Chomp is actually, yeah, he's, he's Roman free. Watch out for him. All right, coming on through this way. Uh, we're going to go straight through here. All the Chain Chomps are just running loose, so be careful. You can do a trick over here. We're going to go right on the boardwalk. Look at that Chain Chomp. He's just in the water. He's just having his best life. He's living his best life over there. Over there. Anyway, right over here is going to be one final cut. You can see that the Chain Chomp is... Indeed loose. We're going to keep it nice and tight over here. If you want to go through the grass, you can uh, with a mushroom. Feel free to do that. Here's a drawbridge, of course, tricking off of that if you make it. And just like that, we're going to be making it straight through here. Another boardwalk. Right. Look at that. It's just winding through the different areas of London. And man, it's it's really true to what the city holds. Seriously. Here we are at the remake of Boo Lake. Of course, it looks super scary. That looks like something like straight out of Luigi's Mansion up there. Might just be. Anyway, this level is pretty fun because we can actually go in the water thanks to the physics in Mario Kart 8. So very excited to see and show you how that looks. Anyway, it's a very short level. You can see right over this way, we're gonna jump straight into the lake. There's a shortcut towards the right hand side that have some like cut out bushes in case you have a shell or a mushroom, you could easily do that. Um, right over here is going to be a gigantic U-turn which we'll be able to jump, trick, and finish off the lap in style, just like that. Here we are at Alpine Pass, formerly, commonly known as Rock Rock Mountain, certain regions. Anyway, localization is a thing, so let's take a look. And I'll show you guys exactly what's going on with this level. Now, it is very true to the 3DS version. I don't think there is really any changes about it. There's still swoopers inside the cave over here. And this is a level that is definitely called like a sandbag track, uh, where at the very last lap, if you waited to like last place right around this section over here, you could potentially get three mushrooms and really hug that right side of the mountain in order to cut off a majority of the track. Oh man, it's really insane if you're wanting to risk that. Anyway, right over here, as you can see, we're gonna be making our way up the Rock Rock Mountain, and you can see that there are indeed boulders, so just pick your lane wisely so that you don't get hit by them. And if you want to hold back on the glider in this section over here, what you could essentially do on the second lap is do some little shortcuts. Right over here, you can trick off that one, you can trick off of this one, and you are all set and ready to go. And here we are at Maple Tree Way. This level makes a comeback, absolutely does. Now, of course, as we know, there's a shortcut to the right over there if you use a boosting item. But as you can see right over here, we're gonna make our way to the cannon and go all the way up the tree like we've known from the previous versions of Mario Kart. So fun. Anyway, if you're playing with other people online, if you go through these little leaf piles over here, sometimes there's going to be mushrooms and those mushrooms will help you out. Uh, there's also sometimes uh, where like a banana comes out. Yeah, you don't want that. <laughs> so just be wary about that turn. You could actually dodge a blue shell over there. Um, you'll see over here that there's going to be a launch pad that will launch you very high up, but it's a lot faster if you go the bottom path over here. Of course, here's going to be a big jump, and then we are going to get a glider section right over here. So do the glide, absolutely pick and choose whatever side you want to go on. If you go on this side over here, there's going to be an extra boost on the way down, just to finish off the lap. Here we are with the Moon Cup. It brings back the 3DS version of Rainbow Road and it gives us a very awesome city level. Let's take a look. Here we are in Germany for Berlin Byways. This one is so fun. It reminds me a lot of like London Loop. 
Uh, yeah, there's a lot of traffic over here, so watch out. It's almost like we're actually on the Autobahn in Germany. Anyway, so as you can see over here, with the city levels, I'll show you all three laps because it's kind of section-based, if you think about it. So we're going to come over here and showcase everything that there is to see over here. I love that. This is the Bahnhof. This is the uh, little train station over here. You can actually go inside that train. Uh, I don't know why you'd go the wider route. Maybe there's items in there. But yeah, it looks really fun. So you'll see over here that there's going to be another turn right around the corner. And we're just kind of breezing through the city here. Those of you guys that are familiar with uh, German culture, you'll be able to recognize a lot of landmarks. Oh man, so fun. Yeah, so it's going to be the exact same cars as they are in like the Toad's Turnpike level. We're going to be taking this way now, which allows us to turn here. You can see that there's going to be some different grass areas that you can kind of cut through if you really want to. There's going to be another section of grass that you can cut there, another section of grass you can cut there. Yeah, just watch out. This level does end up turning into a Toad's Turnpike uh, sometime soon, and I'll show you exactly where that's at. Man, all of the levels that have actual cars in them, man, those are so fun. Anyway, coming on this way, boom, we are zooming on through with the floor zipper right over here. Here's going to be a tree section where you can easily cut through there. Now, traffic is going to be coming at you at this point, so just be very careful. And there's a couple of thwomp that are going to be pounding down. Man, you do not want to mess around with those guys. All right, here we go. This one's going to be the third lap. You can easily jump through there. And this one's going to be reminiscent of the Berlin Wall. Uh, you can see the Berlin Wall falling down, those things right over there. So, yeah, pretty interesting. Love that uh, that little allusion to that. Really awesome, especially you would have missed it if you didn't uh, know too much about uh, the history of Germany. So that was kind of fun. Uh, we are going to actually come right over here. This one's going to be another opportunity for cars to actually hit you, so be very careful. There's buses. Oh, this bus is going to sideswipe me. Oh my gosh, watch out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Woo, we almost got cut off by a bus. Woo. Cool level, though. And here we are at Peach Gardens. Very true to the original on the DS version, for sure. But if you guys play this level all the way to the third lap, you'll notice that there is a little surprise where you end up going backwards through the track. Oh man, it is so fun. But for the most part, this isn't going to be a very true to the original port kind of level. As you can see over here, there's going to be some winding paths where you can easily make your way through and watch out for the chain chomps as they are loose and running amok inside the entire Peach Garden section. Over here is going to be a section where you could potentially get bit by that piranha plant. Try not to. <laughs> there's going to be some Monty Moles over here where you can easily trick on their little, um, little holes that they're digging. And other than that, we're right in front of the castle courtyard and we're going to be tricking straight down here in order to finish off the lap. Pretty easy. Here's an original track from Mario Kart Tour. It's none other than Merry Mountain. For those of you that celebrate Christmas, it's kind of along the lines of a Christmassy themed level. You can see over here that there's going to be a lot of snow, a lot of fun presents, lights, decorations, you name it, in order to uh, garnish that Christmassy or uh, holiday spirit, as, uh, as we might say. Anyway, you can see a gigantic train over there. It's like, it's pulling a sleigh, which is still kind of cool that it's just in midair. Uh, right over here is a really easy shortcut that you can take all the way on the right hand side through all of that off-road snow. You'll see that we're going to be going down this gigantic hill in order to make our way. And you can see that the toads uh, are uh, throwing some coins at us. Yeah, really great. Anyway, we got to do that a couple more times and we're all set. And here we are at the 3DS version of the Rainbow Road. Yes, this one is one of the better Rainbow Roads in my opinion. But the unfortunate thing about that is whenever they ported this level over, they didn't really port over some of the shortcuts that you can do in this particular level, unfortunately. Anyway, as you can see over here, it's very true to the original with how it plays out. There's going to be some uh, winding paths on the way down, as you can see right over this way. And yeah, we're going to be making our way straight down here to the bouncy mushroom. Yeah, there we go. Bouncy mushroom. Little wavy road over here that you can trick off of in the event that you get a couple of those. And then we're going to be going straight through here. Easy. Check this out. So in the 3DS version, you can kind of dip your glider down and then pop it all the way back up 
in order to cut off a lot of the track by hugging the left side of that planet. Um, but this game, not so much. Another one would be going towards the left, straight over here above my head, in order to land on a, a different part of that track, way ahead. But you can't really do that in this game due to the glider physics. So, anyway, as you can see over here, we are going to be doing some shortcuts. We're going to be going into the anti-gravity section of the moon, which looks real fun. Oh my gosh, this glow up looks so good. Yeah, look at all those chain chomps. Do not get hit by them, of course. There's going to be a couple little boost panels over here that make you go a little bit faster. Yeah, we're going to be boosting through that. Easy mode, yes. Landing this way, of course, making our way through all of these different boost panels. And then here we go to the little dolphin jumps, right? These are my favorite. Doing this, yeah. Landing straight on another one. Boosting in the air. Boosting again, yes. Now in Mario Kart uh, 4 3DS, there's a clutch shortcut that you could do on the left-hand side right over here. It's like a final last-ditch effort with a mushroom. Unfortunately, in this version, you don't get it. But still, a great port nonetheless. Now, here are the last two cups that are relatively new from the time of recording. It's got a lot of really fun levels, and oh my, Yoshi's Island? I'll tell you exactly how I feel on that one. It is so good. One of the next city tour levels is Amsterdam Drift, a uh, home of the beautiful tulips, and it's just a really, really colorful map. I love it. So like the other city tour levels from Mario Kart Tour, we're going to give you all three laps so that you guys can understand and really appreciate what the developers did with it. Anyway, you can see this like farmland over here, which represents the countryside of uh, the Netherlands for sure. Love that. You can see that there are going to be a couple mole hills over this way. You can trick off of them if you'd like to. You can actually jump over that section there. Uh, anyway. Moving on to this way, we'll start seeing the the city area, which is kind of fun. If you take a look over there at that trolley, that trolley might cut you off. And if you do hit the trolley, it will spin you out, so don't. <laughs> All right, moving on through to section number two. We're going to go straight underwater here, and we'll be able to see that we have uh, some underwater sections. If you take the middle bubbles, it'll launch you a lot higher, and you could potentially get another item if you're playing online with friends. Um, but of course, we're not really worried about that. We just want to keep on going as best as we can. Oof, coming to a great stop. Excellent. All right, anyway, coming along this way in the underwater section, we're going to be erupting straight out and then moving straight back into town for our final lap right over here. Here it comes. There's a little bit of grass that you can cut over there on the right-hand side along that turn. We'll be able to see right over this way that there are going to be some pretty tight turns over here. Now, if you're playing online, some other characters are going to be like flying at you at that one spot because you're going against the traffic. But anyway, as you can see over here, we're going to visit the tulip fields. And yeah, it looks so gorgeous. Anyway, you can hold the mini turbo all the way through here. You're going to go through one of these buildings and then make your way out here. Yes, across the bridge, doing a little bit of snaking as we are coming up to the finish line right over here. Excellent. Here's Riverside Park. This level is so fun. It's got a lot of new elements to it that I really appreciate. Because otherwise, it's kind of a boring track from the uh, Super Circuit game. Anyway, I really like this track because you'll see the little walking piranha plants right over here. You see these guys? Yeah, right over here. If you're playing outside of time trials mode, sometimes they'll be holding or hovering a mushroom or a banana. And if you hit them with a shell, they'll drop that mushroom or banana for you so that you can pick it up and boost ahead. Man, it's so good. I just love seeing them walk around. They're just so cute. Anyway, erupting through the waterfall and we are set with the level. Here we are at DK Snowboard Cross. Yeah, interesting localization for that name. Anyway, we're jumping on in and this level is very true to the original. So if you've played Mario Kart Wii, you know exactly what's going on with these half pipe jumps and everything like that. Anyway, you can see over here that we can easily jump straight through there. Yeah, got it. And you could do these little little hill hops over here. You could jump through the snow if you really wanted to. Or, of course, you can just avoid it altogether. Anyway, getting a setup right over this way. Ooh, okay. You can do a little shortcut this way. Ooh, you can do the double shortcut if you wanted to. But I think we're going we're gonna to opt to not. <laughs> I need a little bit better of a setup in order to do that. 
Anyway, you can see the Shy Guy's doing some snowboarding over here. Uh, what I ultimately want to do is do this around the corner as best as I can. Yeah, there we go. It's, it's pretty true to the original. And here's my favorite level out of all of the downloadable content Booster Course Pass. It's Yoshi's Island. Now, if you've ever played Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island with Baby Mario, you'll know exactly what this level is all about. You can see the Shy Guys on stilts. You can see the little sidesteppers over here, of course. That's an asset from Mario Kart. We've seen that before. But, man, you can see the Blarg in the background. You've got some little crystal caves. The Goonies are flying all the way up into the air. This level is just too good. Gigantic eruption over here. A little town. You can kind of do some tricks off of that. Now, here's the cool part. Here's the cool part. If you hit this little thing right here, boom! You're going to get this shortcut red road that you can use in order to cut a lot of the track off and go through the goal just like you do in the main series game. Here we go. This is the last of the cups. It's going to be the Boomerang Cup. It's got two of the City Cups on them and two courses coming back from previous titles. Let's take a look. Here we are at Bangkok Rush. Of course, it's a city track, so we are going to go through the entire thing, and you guys are going to love it. This level. Ooh, man. If you've ever seen a city, this is a city. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, we're going to come over here to this, like, little shallow lake with these boats. We're going to do some tricks in order to get some coinage right off the bat, and then we're going to go straight into the city. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I love this track so much. Here's a little, uh, a little section where you can kind of jump over here. Do a little bit of jumping on top of the uh, the little tents, the little sales tents. You'll notice that there's going to be many different paths that you can take in this area here. You can go way up top, you can go way on the bottom. Either way, it'll spit you out so that you can converge right over here into the second lap. Alright, now coming on through over this way, it's going to be pretty interesting. Here's a little shortcut too. Wow, oh, we are going to go into the city for sure. Check, <laughs> check it out. All right, here we go. Yeah, look at this city right here. Just right through the main street. Now, this one's going to be a really, really fun area because we're going to go up this little slope and then we're going to glide through this section with the fireworks and the great view. What you could essentially do is do a grass shortcut over here in order to cut off a lot of the track. And I definitely wanted to showcase that. Anyway, coming on through over this way, we are going to be at the last area. This is the last lap. Now you notice that some of the areas are going to be blocked off, but no worries, we've got some backup plans for it. So taking a look, going through the city one more time, absolutely love it, gorgeous level. Going to cut through here and we're going to go through an entire uh, car garage, look at this, it's a car park. We're going to go all the way up and then launch ourselves straight out and land on top of some tents, look at this, cool. Anyway, you could go all the way up here if you wanted to. Yeah, great. So it's a great way of going way up top if you want to get some other items. But of course, flying straight down here is going to be a little bit faster. And there we have it. Bangkok Rush done. Here we are at DS Mario Circuit. This is very true to the original. All the way up to the piranha plants that actually spit fireballs at you. Oh my gosh. And the Goomba placement too. Look at this. Look at those two Goombas walking around all in full on 3D. Yeah, watch out for these fireballs because they will hit you. They're just like spitting those straight out. Uh, what's really cool about this area is, yes, we're going through the forest. You can take some shortcuts through the left-hand side, through all of the grass, and Wiggler comes out on a later lap, which is really fun to see. Anyway, right over here is going to be an easy section where you kind of cut through. You can do a cool cut like that if you really wanted. And last but not least, it's the final stretch of uh, road before we end off the lap. Here we go. This one's Waluigi Stadium from Double Dash. Yes. Oh my gosh. This one got a couple new glow ups and I'm excited for it. Um, of course, the music is going to be absolutely a banger. Uh, right over here, it's the exact same concept, flipping straight on through. You can do a loop over there, or like a little like half pipe ramp if you wanted. But nonetheless, we're gonna be keep on, uh, we're gonna flying through this. If you have a mushroom, you can go through those tires and the mud like we did in Double Dash. Uh, what we want to do over here is grind this side like this as best as we can. Get a little flames on our tracks over here. Do at least three of them. And then loop over this way, yeah, with a mini turbo all the way straight through, you're gonna be golden. You can see that there's gonna be a, a couple different areas where you can go on top. 
But uh, I'm showing you guys the fastest way. There's a couple railing areas over that way, and it'll launch you straight to the very end of Waluigi Stadium. Very, very cool level. Here we go, the final city track of the Booster Course Pass, as of recording. It's none other than Singapore Speedway. This level is beautiful. The nighttime vibes are just totally with me. I'm into this right now. Man, I wish I could visit Singapore to see exactly what the inspiration was for this. You see that we're going to be launching ourselves from a cannon to on top of a triple hotel with a in, with an infinity pool that goes straight down. Excuse me? Man. All right, we're going to be gliding our way down over a soccer field, landing our way straight through here. And we're going to be going straight through this little speedway over here. So absolutely, this level is so beautiful. I would say it's one of the most beautiful city tracks. Um, it kind of reminds me of New York Minute for sure. Anyway, we're going to come on down over this way. As you can see, we've got a lot of things happening over here. And now we're going to go through a market area. I love the orange lights. The little lanterns look really fun. And it's just, it's just so beautiful. The nightlife is so good. Anyway, huge theme park. What we're going to do right now is we're going to fly straight through this gigantic fountain. Look at that, with rainbow-colored water? Excuse me? I don't know anywhere in the United States that has anything like that. So, really astonishing. All right, we've seen these little green and red areas in the Rainbow Road. So yeah, we're gonna keep on going on the green section in order to stay straight onto there. So absolutely love it. As you can see over here, we're gonna continue on, keeping our mini turbo all the way through here and then launching it as we go. I'm gonna take the aerial route this way in order to get one boost, get a second boost and a third. We're gonna come crashing down over here, trick off of this, boost off of this, and we just got to go through the market one more time and we're all finished with the last level of the video. I'm excited for it. Give me some coinage right over here. All right, we're not, we're going to pick a lane. Yep, absolutely. Pick that lane. And then we have a grass cut that we could essentially do on, I believe, the left-hand side. Yeah, you could take a grass cut over there. And there you have it. That's Singapore. So fun, really. And there we have it, all of the DLC Booster Course Pass levels within Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on Nintendo Switch. At the time of recording, as you know, we don't have access to these last four cups. Is that going to be the end of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe as we know it? Or are they going to give us an entire other page? Remember, if you've been watching this retrospective, you've seen so many different levels within the entire franchise. And it's only a matter of time until they add some more over there. They're sitting on a Wario's gold mine of awesome tracks they can easily remake. Anyway, that's going to be it. So uh, we'll see you next time for hopefully some more Mario Kart. And there you have it, every single one of the currently released levels inside the Booster Course Pass. Now, which ones did you enjoy the most? I can't wait to hear about it. Honestly, I really enjoyed Yoshi's Island because I grew up with that Super Nintendo game, so that hit all the right nostalgia notes for me. Man, Mario Kart on Nintendo Switch is honestly one of the games that I probably put the most hours into, and I think that some of you guys might be in the same boat, especially if you own the game. Anyway, I can't wait to see you guys on the next episode, which will be the final episode of our retrospective series, where we get to rank a lot of the different tracks within Mario Kart. Which one is going to be my favorite? I will absolutely let you know. But if you guys have been paying attention to all nine parts of this series, you may know what I'm kind of leaning towards. But how will we rank them and why we'll rank them is the extra question. So don't miss out on that. It'll be our final episode of The Retrospective and I cannot wait to see you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for all of your support. And just thanks for loving Mario Kart with me. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Only on Happy Kids. Free. Fun. Learn.